bundle this all up. Give it to you. Return subscriber, I appreciate you. I thank you very much for coming back and seeing what that's going on. Oh no. Oh no. There they go. I made noise and I scared them. I'm sorry guys. I was just trying to come and show everybody that there's, oh, you're coming back. Maybe I didn't scare you. There's water over here and they're hanging out in the water. And I just dropped my tripod and I think I scared them. Let me quietly go over there. This is remnants of a flood. This is a flood channel right here for when it floods in Death Valley Junction or next to it because it's part of the Amagosa River. It's just the side of the road so this will go away at some point. But the two cranes were sitting in the puddle and I pulled over and dang it, I scared them. But they flew back and they are, um, oh there they are. They're headed that way. And they're coming back around. <laughs> they're probably like, what's this lady doing? Okay, I'll let you guys be. I'm going into the park anyways. Ah, take the keys, Jenny. Take the keys. <laughs> we are out at the junction. I am getting ready. I'm setting up my camera. I'm going to film driving into 190. Just come in to see how it's looking at the junction. Looks like it hasn't had too much more damage. Let's turn the camera around. It's already warm. Aww. I love those doors. Aren't they just great? Okay, that's not why we're here. What's going on today? I'm just gonna drive into the park. I'm gonna stop places that I can stop for my own mental health. First pit stop, 3000. This is one of my favorite little campsites to check the Osmo footage to see, because I've, uh, it's new to me, taking road footage, to just to see what I was capturing. I think it's super neat. The first thing I've noticed driving in is that because the roads are very less traveled at the moment, I'm by myself. I haven't seen anybody on the road. You can see the dirt on the ground where the water came through and where they had to push off. Behind me, is the big dozer who's been cleaning our roads this whole entire time. Uh, I parked next to that because I figured if that's parked here, then it's probably safe for me to park here. Look how green it is. It is green everywhere. I could be wrong, fairly certain that there is not this much green in life generally when I am in the park in August. Usually looks like those bushes there, right in front. Trash, typical, typical. Nobody's camping, but 
road's only been open less than a few hours. Oh, look at there's my little rig. Okay, let's, let's get back in the car and stop at pit stop number two. What kind of day are we going to have? I'm not sure what kind of day we're having. I just want to have a nice day where I stretch my legs in the desert, film the road for prosperity, documentation, history, historical natural documentation, historical nature documentation. I already call myself a documentarian. I don't know. I'm going to wait for this car to pass me though and then I'll get back in the car and go. Dirt, big barrel of trees, but parking lot's fine. Back to normal. This is the horrendous parking lot. Let's keep going into the Furnace Creek. Gotta find me some ice cream, maybe. Looks pretty good to me. I don't remember there being two machines in the front. Because see, here's another one. With these. I'm going to get one of these today. And two guardian angels. See, there's always things to notice. See, I know that there's one of these, but now there's two. But I've never noticed this Borax Museum mat. Which definitely needs a sweep. And I don't have my broom, so I can't help you today. Yeah, see, this one's got the wolf, the angel, this Death Valley, and then my lucky penny. Mm. If it was my lucky penny, I wouldn't squish it. I was going to go for two of those, but I'm going to go one and one. Why am I explaining my decisions to you? I don't know. It's YouTube. That's what we do. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm at the train museum. I made a short for my train friends so they could see everything's fine from the flood. I mean, they probably would have known if it wasn't, but still, it's nice to know that. It's very, very quiet here today. 
I cannot get confirmation, but I believe they slowed down on um, hotel guests staying here until they realized what was going on with the roads because there's just not they're, they're just not the amount of cars and people that I would see walking around Furnace Creek on a normal August day. What else? I can't get anybody at the hotel to talk to me because they're not allowed to talk to media. And apparently I've been upgraded to media because I have a YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately argued, I'm competing against multi-million dollar corporations. Can't you just give me a hint as to what potentially you guys did? But they work for a multi-million dollar corporation, so that answer is no. Can't go hiking. I'm going to get back in the car, drive back towards home. It's a lovely hot day. I received some very supportive comments about to continue documenting nature in its natural state and just document nature or document what's going on or document the information that is in random books or things. I like to call myself a documentarian. Actually the comment did not go into all those details at all, not at all. Hmm. Huh. Super quiet. Super quiet today. Originally I was gonna get myself some ice cream at Furnace Creek, but then I also realized that it is 10 o'clock in the morning and that is not a good thing for me to have right now at 10 o'clock in the morning. Also, ice cream is about seven to ten dollars inside there, and for that much money I could be taking the whole family for ice cream. So I'm going to just watch myself. I have some treats in the car. I brought some chocolate. My glasses just blew off the table. <laughs> the wind hasn't gone anywhere. The wind is just fine. <laughs> as soon as the weather peaks, either with Bobby or Mary, we will be walking to Mr. Lemoyne's grave and checking on his headstone, see how it handled the summer months, see if he got flooded, just do some basic grave tent cleaning. But overall, the, other than the one chunk of road that is completely missing and is filled in with gravel, and they have not asphalted yet, the road is great. The road is absolutely great. But I am getting warm and I think I'm gonna head back. Okay, I've been sitting in my car having some water, having another snack. Why? Because I'm constantly eating snacks. My brother just texted me because I have sales service in Furnace Creek. The road to Badwater is open. The road to Dante's View is open. It's 10.15 now. I keep quoting the time and I keep putting myself earlier than I am. And I cannot hike, but I will drive. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna drive with the camera going from here to Badwater, back out. I might go out and touch some ground at Badwater because it's very healing. It's very nice. It's very calming to be at Badwater and touch the salt. Don't ask why, I don't know why. I could just be talking out the side of my neck, just making stuff up. That happens sometimes. After that, I'm gonna come out of bad water and Dante's use open! I'm so excited, I'm so excited, so excited. Get some footage of being up and then probably I'll be able to, to hike. No, I probably can't hike because it's too dang hot. But they didn't open Dante's view. I, if I would have known, I would have left early enough, but that's okay. It's all gonna work out. It's all gonna work out because through generous viewers like you, those who have, can, and do, and you donate to me, and you keep this channel going, hands down. I make about 10 to $20 a month on YouTube, outside of super chats and super thanks. So everybody who super chats and super thanks, I thank you so much, I thank you so, so much, because you are keeping the channel going. One day, yes, one day, we will have enough views and enough things because apparently when you're a youtuber you got to do things you got to like branch out like an octopus 
and do different things. And so I got different things in, in the works. I mean, because you never know where it's going to lead me. You never know. You never know. Stop number three is going to be bad water. I made it to bad water. That is where the road closes. The road really isn't too bad. I'm curious what happened from here to Shoshone because I was under the impression the majority of the flooding was over in the Furnace Creek area, but who am I to say? I don't know. All I know is I'm at bad water. Hmm. A few people walking out. I'm going to get back in the car and go up there to my favorite spot in the park. I think we're looking up there. We might be there. Good question, Jenny, because when you're up top, it just looks, you know, down. Not too many folks going too far out. Definitely have seen more people since the nine o'clock hour and since I left Furnace Creek. Not very many people in Furnace Creek, but lots of people at Badwater. I saw a few people at Golden Canyon. It's been different for me driving and filming because I'm trying to be quiet. For the film you know for the driving part and i can't lay your music because that's not that's a copyright you can't do that so i've just been taking mental notes thinking about where i want to go when i come back like what hike do i want to do first where do i want to go first so i've got a small list and it's kind of neat. I've, I've never really kind of done these main spots all in one day. Because I'm not usually a tourist. I just kind of come to go where I want to go. So it's kind of neat because I'm kind of hitting all the big, hey, you should stop here. Hey, you should stop here. Hey, you should stop here. Also, so far, 95% of the people that I've seen have been not from the United States. Which is typical for August. Let's get back in the car. I have taking a pit stop go up to Dante's view and check out that road in between here and Dante's view is at artist palette it's almost it's like 11 o'clock in the day so it's not going to be the best lighting to drive through artist palette but you know what the heck let's go let's do this I still bombed that I can't drive from here to Shoshone Hopefully they'll get that open here soon. I'm only bummed for the sense that I would have skipped Dante's view and gone to Shoshone and got lunch at the crowbar. Because already I'm hungry for something more than a snack. I have lots of snacks though, so don't worry. It's just anytime that I'm in the desert, it makes me crave meat. <laughs> sort of for lack of a better word i always want like a hamburger or a steak or ribs or something when i'm done with the desert i'm not sure why i'm really not sure why but let's go let's go folks let's keep on driving i couldn't have asked for a better use of the day and i know that might sound strange to some of you folks because normally my day is filled with investigating or curiosity or just constant talking but I'm absolutely enjoying just driving through Death Valley and I've got notes and I've been things have sparked my interest and I've been reminded of some stories that I want to tell and I'm just excited. I'm, I'm having a great day driving through the park. You, I hope you're having a great day. Are you having a good day? Hopefully you're having a good day. I really hope so. Because life is too short to have too many bad days. Right? Right. Yeah. And I'm going to think about my trip because I'm going on a trip. 10 degree cooler mountain, like I like to call it. That's what I call it. 10 degree cooler mountain. Because we go so high in elevation that it gets cooled. 
but it's probably not cold enough for me to hike. But I have my hiking shoes on. And thank you. If you made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe because that means that you are fine with my randomness. No, but really, if you made it this far, you should like and subscribe. Right? Right? Yeah. Smash that like button, pump my stock, put on those notifications, all that stuff, all that stuff. Okay, but now let's go. I've made it to Dante's view. Look. See? It's still very quiet. I'm going to get out and take a look. I already did a sneak peek and wow, you can see there's still water on the valley floor. And one spot looks all super green, like a little mini lake. But we'll get out of the car and take a look. This one family, I've been following them all day. <laughs> they, are, they are everywhere where I am. Also, it's time for more snacks. The thing that I've noticed more than anything on this day of driving around, it is that it is August 21st and there is so much greenery around. Okay, I just took some pictures for some folks. As we look out behind us, there's definitely still some water way over there. It doesn't usually look green. Let me turn the camera around. Lots of trash. And I guess I should do a little pickup. Dang it. I gotta get my trash back. But I was just trying to show you how all these little bushes came to life. Blockbuster Antarctica. Okay, I have to figure out what this is. It's a sticker from Blockbuster Antarctica. Somehow sitting on top of Dante's view in Death Valley. Well, imagine that. There's trash. I'll come back for that after I do some footage. Yeah, see, way over there. Look at that. Saturday morning. That looks like water. Just a little bit. This road off to the left, I have a video if you're interested. Link is above. Where I walk the entire 12 mile hike. There is a really cool Instagrammable moment right around this corner right here. The video from when I hiked it a couple years ago is a little different because I've gotten better. I want to hike it again and re-video. Let's go on the other side though because I'm pretty sure I saw some water on the other side. See right there? That looks like a pile of algae. I'm going down. The hills are just littered with green. How lovely is that? Off the beaten path, we have some flowers. Here's another quick look. I'm just trying to see if I can see from there that there's a white, that's water and salt, correct? The floods brought the flies back. Look at those two little puddles of stuff right there. It's got algae in it, I'm guessing, is what makes it green. I don't know, folks, what? I wasn't expecting that. And to just document the movement of the waters from this flood. There's one more little area I can go up and over, but I'm not going too far. Let me just go around the corner here. Okay, I might not go that much further because it is 
12 o'clock in the morning, high noon. It's noon, it's high noon. And it's warm still here on 10 degrees cooler mountain. Come up a little bit further so I can see. Yeah, interesting. Even though I said I didn't go very far, if you'll notice, that's where I came from. Up, down, and up again is where I just got back from. And so, yes, I'm going back to the car. Even if you are super excited about the situation. I just am so much happy. So, so happy to be out on the side of the mountain. I just want to say hi to everybody. I'm back in my car with the AC going. Woo! Oh, there's a whole bunch of tourists that just showed up again. Because of generous and gracious viewers like you, you keep me fed it, with my hiking snacks. This, this is my electrolytes that I got in the mail that you just put it in a bottle of water. And then this is like a perfect size bottle. So then it just fits the tab. I'm gonna go ahead and eat all my snacks and then I'll come back and say goodbye. Cause I'm sure once I put food in my body, my brain will work better and I'll remember with the things that I wanted to say. My budget is small right now. I almost didn't come out today. I'm just so glad I left the house. My spirits have been lifted. Everything's fine. I'm not sure what I expected. I'm not sure what you expected. I'm thinking flood damage. You have to close the whole park for two weeks. I'm expecting roads to be missing. I have a feeling that's the case in Beatty. I do have a feeling that's the case in Beatty. If you come from Beatty into Rhyolite. I think I'm going to load up gonna go down the hill just a little bit to where all the bees are I got stung by a bee thank God I'm not allergic I got stung or bit by a bee I'm not exactly sure it hurt and then now it's okay but thank God I'm not allergic that could have been all bad it's pulled over quickly Greenwater Valley Road looks like it's open the flood signs tipped over you can hear my car behind me it's called Furnace Creek Wash Road Oh, got some trash to pick up. Seriously, always trash. Always trash. This is looking okay. Obviously, I'm not driving this road to tell you whether it's okay the whole way there, but it doesn't have the big cone things out, nor is it blocked. It really doesn't seem like any crazier flood than when it normally floods. Because it always floods. It floods, it just half the time it doesn't flood near anybody. It just floods in the desert. They say it was really intense and the amount of rain that came down at the time that it came down was a lot. So I'm just glad the park is getting back to normal. And I will be back in the park relatively shortly. Let's get back in the car though, it's hot. Everything looks fine. I'm excited to go hiking on some of the trails that I've already hiked before because I wonder what new discoveries we can find. Especially like Gower's Gulch because the water just flows through there, down there. And there was mining camps there, so maybe we'll find some artifacts that have never been discovered. That's one of the cool things about when it floods. It just moves the earth all around and there's new things to discover. Kind of exciting. Let's go though. Let's go find some ice cream. I already got information from my brother that one shop is closed because of no AC. So I'm not getting ice cream there. And I'm not driving all the way across town for Seymour's. No offense to Seymour's. We shall see, shall we? Remember to be grateful. Make good choices in your own adventures and I'll